Okay, I have been busily working all day long, and it's once again late. So I wanted to check out some trailers before I call it quits for the day. And the first one I've got up on my list is called The Third Day. And it's labeled as a teaser and it's on HBO. I'm not sure if it's a movie or a series. Uh, maybe this will, um, maybe it, this will clear it up. So let's check it out. I think it's got Jude Law in it. It looked like him in the thumbnail, but um, we'll see. Who are you? This person, something yes. terrible happened to. Well, you're not that here. It's okay. Let when me... was the last time you really let go, Sam? There's something special about this place. Oh, that reminds me of Midsommar. Long way from home on such a day. Times have been hard. We've been through some bad things. But helping people is what this place is all about. Thank you. Creepy vibe, you guys. Stay. But you need to come with us before that causeway closes and you have to stay here in paradise forever. Well, you can't leave. Okay. Excuse me. Something appalling at me. And it's raging inside. Most people are scared of pain. They don't know how warm it can be. All right. So, yeah, that did have a teaser vibe to it. To get to this point, it's a minute 22. Um, we have a bit of an idea. Dia. I mean, he's gone to this place and he ends up now he's trapped there and he's going to have to stay there forever. There is there are these weird people there that are giving off some serious Midsummer Wicker Man type vibes to me. Um, so just that alone makes me not exactly sure uh, how I feel about this. I mean, I'm kind of uh, curious to find out if he's going to get out of this situation. What is the situation? What are these people up to? But at the same time, I don't like, I don't like the Wicker Man. I don't think I saw the whole remake, but I've heard, I understand that one's considered pretty terrible. Well, I wasn't crazy about the original and I absolutely hated Midsommar, which a lot of people think is wonderful. Uh, yet yeah, no, mm -mm. No, ridiculous. Hated that movie. And I wasn't crazy about Hereditary, but I think Hereditary is maybe marginally better than, than um, Midsommar. But anyway, basically, I don't like those types of films, like the, you know, where there's these weird pagany people and they have these weird rituals. And it's just, I, I don't, not that I'm, that I don't like movies that have to do with with like pagan themes, but that whole, I don't know, I guess it's like the scenario that it sets up where it's basically this person or a small group of people that are trapped and surrounded by a whole bunch of insane people, you know, and it's like, seems like such a helpless situation. And in both of those um, stories that like the Wicker Man in Midsommar, everybody would, well, spoiler, if you haven't seen it, but Everybody was like the the protagonists were basically destroyed, and in the case so like in the Wicker Man, the guy was killed by these people, and in Midsummer, everybody was pretty much killed by these people. And the protagonist, who is hugely unlikable to me, couldn't stand her character. She ends up like completely losing her crap, and you know joining them, and it, it was I don't like that. Anyway, it's just I, yeah no, so. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, but at the same time, just because I'm getting that vibe doesn't mean it's going to end up in the same sort of way that I don't like. Uh, so uh, I, I, I would be willing to give this a chance, uh, check it out. I mean, I like Jude Law and I am a bit intrigued by by the story anyway, and I'm I'm just hoping that it doesn't 
end up being exactly the sort of thing that I'm kind of skeptical that it might be. But um, anyway, I guess we would know more when the time comes around. I'm not sure when I'd get an opportunity to watch this. Uh, I would have to see. So, um, but anyway, it's, it's certainly something I know about now. And so if, if by some chance I'm able to, uh, watch it, um, I've already seen the trailer. I sort of understand the premise. I suspect that a, um, a more official trailer will be released. I just saw, in fact, in my list, there is a I can't remember if it's called a teaser again or a trailer for The Unbecoming with Nicole Kidman on HBO. I think that might be one. Well, I don't know if that's one I was going to check out tonight. But anyway, it looks like they've released another um, teaser or trailer. Shoot, I can't remember what they called it. But the initial one was a teaser. So I'm guessing the same thing is going to happen with this. That the closer we get to the release date, we'll see something a little bit more fleshed out than just these little, you know, snippets and bits and pieces. But even though it was a teaser, I do feel like I sort of have a kind of a, a, a more broad understanding than I get with some teasers when they just show us segments of stuff and I am completely clueless. I don't feel like I'm completely clueless, but um, I don't fully know the entire premise. And uh, I guess a little bit of reading would let me know what it is, but I didn't do that beforehand. I probably won't do it um, anytime soon. So, okay. Well, that's this one. <laughs> Later, guys. Bye. Bye.